A very good morning to all of you. I am Captain Taranjit Singh Kalsi. Today our expert faculty at Balmain Academy will be solving the CDS paper. So we start with the CDS English paper by our experienced faculty Mrs. Ritu Sani. Over to our English specialist Mrs. Ritu Sani. She will solve the English CDS set C paper. Over to ma'am. All right. So as you know, I'll be giving you the explanation of CDS. English set C. So let's begin. The first question, as you can see here, is fill in the blanks. He dash waiting for you since morning. The correct answer is he has been waiting for you since morning. Why is this the answer? Because he is a singular subject and singular subjects agree with has, not have. Next question, if a time machine dash you anywhere, the correct answer is could take you anywhere. Why not Charlie and Delta? Why are they not the answers? because there is a rule that after if you should not use will or shall therefore it is an imaginary situation that if it could take you anywhere where would you go moving on the third question is what you what you propose is the correct answer is out of question and in the fourth question the campaign is in full swing now how about an explanation what is the meaning of out of question out of question means somebody is not considering that option that offer which you have given it is not possible and it is unthinkable which is why this is the answer Next question, the campaign is in full swing. Full swing means it is operating fully. It is at the highest level of activity. Um, in Hindi people say, Pure zoro par hai. So, which is why that is the answer. And moving on. Question number six. Had he told me the news beforehand, I dash, answer is, I would have been careful and saved the money. Why? Because there is a rule in conditional sentences, if your if clause, this is our imaginary sentence, na? had he told me, now this is in which tense? Past perfect tense, had plus V3. So the rule is, if the conditional clause is in past perfect tense this side your subordinate clause should always have modal modal plus have plus v3 so which is why would have and been is the answer and now why not should have and been because even that is modal have and v3 uh, should have and been is used for imagined duties here the statement is not talking about an imagined duty it is an imagined action ki agar pehle bataya hota to maine paise bachaye hote so it is an imagined action moving on question number 7 he feels that he has been uh, taken for granted here the answer is alpha taken for granted what is the meaning of taken for granted taken for granted means you take someone too lightly you don't value someone you feel the person is always available for you so that is the meaning somebody fails to appreciate you for your efforts and therefore that is the answer taken for granted i think i've just realized i've missed out on question number five not a problem i'll go back to it yeah question number five life has been thrown the answer is thrown out of gear 
life has been thrown out of gear due to the weather conditions in the city what is thrown out of the gear it means it is not functioning properly obviously the reason is given there due to weather it's out of order it's not functioning it's out of control so it is an idiom now uh, students you need to know that in this paper if you notice there were no idioms and UPSC has tried to integrate uh, idiom related questions here and there in the paper at multiple places you will eventually realize there are idioms in the paper so full swing is an idiom out of the question out of gear actually all are idiom based questions and just integrated as fill ups all right so we were I believe we were at question number seven yeah so we should do question eight now he has the dash touch of a maestro the correct answer is he has the silken touch of a maestro now why silken touch it's a word association silken touch really go together and then you should also know the meaning of maestro only then you'll be able to select the answer maestro is an expert particularly in music which is why the word silken really goes well with music smooth touch and uh, then why not grating grating is a very negative word grating means unpleasant and harsh and it cannot be used with such a positive word like maestro so which is why the answer is silken moving on question number nine he is one of the the correct answer is alpha well-known journalist in the country reason after one of the always use plural noun and journalists it's plural so therefore that's the answer and this is how it explains why we rule out bravo why not charlie it is superfluous using well and renowned together either you say well known or you say only renowned so if you use well and renowned together it doesn't really make sense it is superfluous extra moving on last question question number 10 uh, the population of Mumbai and Delhi is greater than Dash city in India. The correct answer is any other city in India. Why? Because when one is compared with all the others of the same variety, then you need to use any other to exclude the former. Now, this is a rule we have done in class also. Uh, Mumbai and Delhi are cities and they are compared with other cities of India. Same variety comparison. So, you need to exclude these two cities from a list of cities of India. So, which is why you use any other. Any other over here means any other than mumbai other than delhi other than mumbai all right so with that we're done with 10 questions fill ups completed second set of questions is use usage of paired words something new UPSC has tried out this time uh, I've been telling in my classes also that nothing should come as a surprise to you it is nothing but vocabulary at the end of the day yeah what is it something like homophones similar words although they're not homophones but yeah it is vocabulary hmm? so this time around also if you notice there were no antonyms in the paper so it's just a way to test your your vocabulary knowledge hmm. UPSC has done a reasonably good job this time okay moving on question number 11 perspicacity and perspicuity perspicuity the correct answer is alpha this one perspicacity means ability to discern and perspicuity means lucidity of expression now ability to discern means sahi or galat ki parak kar paana, judge kar paana. that is discernment ability to understand and make accurate judgments and perspicuity means lucidity of expression now what does this mean lucid means clear so if you are the, just the quality of being clear and um, easy to understand so the ability to think write and speak clearly is lucidity so it will boil down to your knowledge if you don't know you will not be able to get the answer right okay next question 
complacent and complacent and now uh, the correct answer is bravo complacent means eager to please and complacent means overconfident uh, let me explain uh, complacent this word you know if you understand the root word you will understand the meaning better it is derived from the word comply now if you if you comply by somebody's orders then what are you doing you are obeying you are obeying you are willing to please samne wale ki aagya mante ho usko khush karne ke liye aap taiyar ho so eager to please and then uh, complacent this means uh, no yeah goes means overconfident uh, another way of putting it could be this person is self satisfied smug also we say uh, in english now don't confuse the word satisfied over here as something positive uh, the word complacent and self satisfied is used in a negative sense over here uh, for example even cricketers could get like let's say a batsman he could get complacent let's say he's uh, in a in a certain match he's uh, at this stage of uh, he scored 99 runs he scored 99 and he just gets complacent that fine i'm done a good job he could just get out in the next ball right so he could be overconfident and just self satisfied so that is the meaning of complacent moving on compliment and compliment wow uh, what a tiny difference out there in the spelling i and e and correct answer is chali the student has also got it right compliment means to praise and compliment means to go well with do we not give compliments to people you looking good today you looking beautiful you looking dashing and that is with the i yeah and this compliment where you have the e to go well with means generally use this way 1 plus 1 offers this is complimentary and so this offer is going well with this you put a combo there or um, a husband and wife could compliment each other Yeah, so कहते नहीं है एक और एक ग्यारह होते हैं right? So th that is how the word compliment is used. They go well together. All right, moving on. Fourteen. Ah, defy and defy. The correct answer is alpha. Yeah, goes. So defy means to confer upon one the status of God, and to defy means oppose. To simplify, D E I. Whenever you come across this word, it has to do with God. Do we not use this word for God? Deity. Yeah. So India me kitne deities hain? I <laughs> how many crows people say no in Hindu mythology. ओके सो डेटी इज गॉड सो अगर आप किसी को डिफाई करते हो आप उसको वर्शिप करते हो भगवान की तरह राइट एंड देन दिस डिफाई इज अपोज इट मीन्स यू यू वॉन्ट डिज अबे यू जस्ट से दैट ओके आई विल नॉट अबे योर ऑर्डर सो यू गोइंग अगेंस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स गेट कन्फ्यूज विद डिफाई एंड ट्राई थिंक दैट दिस कुड बी द मीनिंग डिनाई डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज इट्स it could just confuse you because of the spelling and the rhyming thing but that's not the meaning the correct meaning is oppose okay here we go i believe we should do question 15 hmm. evoke and invoke the correct answer is delta this word elicit uh, you will see in uh, some other question also in the following questions we will come across this word elicit as if now you can just take a mental note of it evoke means to elicit a response elicit a response means samne wale se ek response draw karna nikalwana jaise and uh, or even apne aap se jaise okay and invoke means to call upon through an appeal बस रिक्वेस्ट करना 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इवोक लेट से यू लिसन टू अ सॉन्ग एक गाना सुनते हो एंड दैट सॉन्ग इवोक सम ओल्ड मेमोरीज कुछ पुरानी यादें फिर वो यू जस्ट ड्रॉ फोर्थ दैट नो यू ड्रॉ अ रिस्पॉन्स यू रिकॉल समथिंग टू योर माइंड वो इवोक होता है सो दिस वर्ड इवोक and elicit is all generally used with the word response it's a word association also okay and how is the word invoke used with god do you not pray to god you invoke the gods how through prayer right so appeal karte ho request karte ho bhagwan se kuch mangte ho uh, through your prayer you ask for help all right okay moving on sympathy and empathy correct answer is alpha sympathy means sharing another's feelings and empathy means understanding another's feelings empathy essentially is uh, putting yourself in the shoes of another person apne aap ko dusre ki jagah pe rakh ke dekhna aur samajhne ki koshish karna ki wo kya feel kar raha hoga and that is empathy now here one conf- uh, confusing thing upsc is try to do just a trap empathy you might just think emp emphasizing so students do get confused which is why they give you such confusing options right so and sympathy is again sharing another's feelings ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 एक्सेप्ट एंड एक्सेप्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज चाली एक्सेप्ट मीन्स टू अग्री एंड एक्सेप्ट मीन्स टू एक्सक्लूड आई एक्सेप्ट योर ऑफर अग्री मान लेना एंड एक्सेप्ट ही इज गोइंग टू द डिनर एक्सेप्ट ऑल आर गोइंग टू द डिनर एक्सेप्ट हिम सो उसको छोड़ के उसके अलावा एक्सक्लूडिंग हिम सो विच इज वाई चालीस ध्यान सो दैट वॉज एन ईजी वन सो यू पी एस सी डज ट्राई टू बैलेंस इट आउट गिव यू अ फेयर मेक्स ऑफ डिफिकल्ट एंड ईजी लेवल्स ओके क्वेश्चन एटीन रिवॉर्ड एंड अवॉर्ड द करेक्ट आंसर इज एल्फा reward is compensation for effort and award is award is prize for recognition see for award you can just always keep the trophy thing in mind you get a trophy you get a medal so that is a, it's a prize and reward is compensation for effort it could just be money uh, somebody is uh, giving you cash so uh, a cash amount so that could be a reward moving on All right. Emigrate, emigrate, and immigrate. If I may, the correct answer is Delta. I think I can draw it for you and explain here. Let's take these are two countries. This is India. This is UK. A person is leaving India. He is an emigrant. The same person. enters here in uk what will the uk people call him he will be an immigrant so that exactly is here emigrate means to leave for another country and immigrate means to arrive in another country okay moving on emulate and emulate the answer is alpha emulate means to sacrifice and emulate means to follow someone out of admiration emulate is a very positive word you can emulate your teachers your role models it's it's just another word for copy but copy is negative emulate is very positive so you try to behave like that person so you you follow someone out of admiration because you like and emulate means to sacrifice 
it is kill basically kill or offer as a sacrifice especially by burning so you could get confused with burn and burn over here but then that you know the core meaning is sacrifice the burning is one of the methods it's not the core meaning of immolate so which is why alpha is the answer and not bravo charlie where you have burn because that's just a very limited meaning 20 questions done all right as you notice here it is close composition and 10 fill in the blanks passage with fill ups banking is banking is an essential building block to reach greater prosperity why an essential vowel sound therefore an then and help build a better system correct answer of 22 is bravo better system where financial services can create a path a system where a system where which is why that's the answer however big traditional banks often exclude low income populations blank number 23 by requirements now why by if you notice there is a hack over here we've done this hack in class also or by using the word by is repeated by using historically discriminatory practices hmm? okay then question 24 that keep uh, these these low income customers easy to rule out the options why not this because they are customers plural plural so which is why alpha is not the answer bravo is the answer okay okay question 25 the correct answer is let me mark the answers first it will be easier 25 charlie away 26 alpha on 27 delta off 28 charlie is and 29 alpha becomes and 30 delta these now it makes sense we can take an explanation now okay low income customers i think we i should start reading from here huh. discriminatory practices that keep low income customers away from formal finance keep away so which is why away is yeah unko dur rakte hai uh, finance say keep away so therefore it's the answer modern lifestyles look at this one it's not predicted huh? it's predicated modern lifestyles are predicated on debt fixed preposition after predicate we always use on now what's the meaning of predicate predicate means if one situation is predicated on another it means that the first situation can be true only if the second one is true so like modern lifestyles are predicated on debt these are two situations one is predicated on the other so if this is true only if this is true so they are like interdependent hmm? okay so and quick explanation is just a fixed preposition if you have a stable and reliable income uh, have a bank account with access to a range of again range of products do we not say range of products so fixed preposition again and then this is um, okay you can manage your debts efficiently this is what the entire financial system is for so they're giving a purpose so this is uh, the purpose of the system so we don't say this has the purpose this is the purpose yeah okay so which is why is is the answer uh, but debt becomes a lifetime lifetime trap why not become because this is let's say an uncountable noun debt is an uncountable noun and uncountable nouns always take singular verb v1 ses hmm? and uh, therefore not bravo easy to access again these financial products singular plural knowledge is tested at three different places so gone easy on you actually upsc has gone easy so these and products and not this and not that this that both are used for singular so this one was really easy okay moving on next is 
prepositions and determiners okay now by the way what are determiners articles a and the and all the quantifiers uh, little a little few all of those some several many quantifiers so quantifiers and articles combined uh, determiners all right question 31 the answer to question 31 is that's better we can take three this way okay 31 alpha bravo 32 alpha along with 33 bravo 2 Uh, Rahul must have received the dues by now. We use by for prediction, uh, so therefore it is the answer by now, by then, by evening, by tomorrow, and uh, by I will have completed my course by next year. So we use this by uh, in future perfect tense. Again, if you notice, future perfect. Okay. Then how many students have come? Uh, along with you for the program aapke saath kitne log aaye hain so therefore this is the answer then you need to make others feel that you are second to none idiom start highlighting i'll start highlighting the idioms for you how they have integrated idioms uh, second to none if you are second to none you are the best you could be the worst as well the fastest incomparable actually unparalleled and unmatched so this is what you want to say na ki main kisi se kam nahi hu so that way you second to none it's an idiom therefore that's the answer moving on okay i think only two i'll be able to take up scholars are often caught on the on the horns of a dilemma question 34 chali a question 35 alpha a okay again an idiom in question number uh, 34 what's the idiom horns of a dilemma if you are on the horns of a dilemma you are confused uh, which of the two options should you choose should you choose this option or should you choose that option because both are unpleasant hmm? okay any which way it is just an idiom horns of a dilemma okay amid a few incidents of violence the voting went on well it's just some incidents hue the kuch hi hue the and uh, therefore you know the voting went on well okay moving on question 36 dash university dash university is a place for thinking correct answer is yeah let's continue question number 36 answer is bravo a university question 37 the answer is again bravo the perfection question 38 into entry into moving going back to question 36 why a university because uh, university has year sound try writing in hindi you realize and therefore here is nothing but the y sound therefore article a goes well question 37 why article the is suitable because it's talking about a perfection already in man so it's clear we are particularizing the perfection jo perfection insaan mein pehle se hai so it is a particular perfection therefore article the because of the word already Question thirty-eight: Entry into the building. Fixed preposition. Although, uh, take note that after the word enter, we do not use in or into. Hmm? But uh, this is a noun over here. Entry. It's not enter. So after entry, you have to use entry into the building. Moving on. Thirty-nine and forty. Thirty-nine alpha the forty bravo at 
Ranjit has been elected as the leader of the group. Why article the noun plus of plus noun? There is a rule. Leader is noun, then you have of and group is also noun. So leader of the group. Whenever you come across a noun of a noun structure, it's very clear that this noun is particularized, which is why article the. Question 40, system performance was demonstrated at the drop zone, not by. Because after demonstrated, we use by also. But if it is a person, it's not a person over here. Watch out, it is a place. So demonstrated at that zone and then from an altitude. By the way, this is a DRDO ki report. Hai. Right. So if you read newspapers, it was just this line was just lifted from a DRDO report. Okay. I happen to read it so I know. Okay. All right. Next set of questions: completion of sentences. Question forty-one and forty-two. The answers are forty-one alpha. I decide not to take a decision. 42 Bravo. I would not accept this compensation. Why 41 Alpha? Uh, it is not that I do not take a decision. I decide not to take a decision. Simple Hindi translation out here. This person is saying, Aisa nahi hai ki mein decision leta nahi hu. Mere decision, uh, I choose not to take the decision. Mere decision lena nahi chahata. This is what this person is saying. So therefore, uh, alpha is the answer. And the others really don't make sense. I do not decide. That's not what you're trying to say. This person is, you, you cannot have two negatives any which way. Right? It will become a double negative error. Which is why bravo is not the answer. How about question 43? The explanation is, if you have were in the if clause, if and were, then in the subordinate clause you always have modal plus v1. So were and would plus v1 is a fixed combination. Uh, English is no less than mathematics, huh? it's fixed. All right. These are fixed formulae actually. All right, question 43. The answer is correct answer is delta 43 delta and 44 alpha all right question 43 having written many novels and short stories she feels life is too vast to understand what it means is itni stories likhne ke baad ye sab kaam kar lene ke baad Somebody has that inference. Ek koi conclusion pe aaya hai ki okay, zindagi bohat badi hoti hai samajne ke liye. This is exactly what this person is trying to say. Therefore, it is the answer. Now, there are many career options and therefore you can choose any of them. So, again, a common sense uh, answer there and not many of them. Out of many, how can you choose many? You're obviously going to choose any one of them, right? And uh, if you choose none of them, then what exactly are you doing with your life, right? So therefore, that is also not the answer. So simple rule out ones were there. Okay. Question 45, if you had prepared well, okay. The answer is, you would have fared well, delta. Rule is subordinate if in the if clause, which tenses this had prepared past perfect tense. So if the if clause has past perfect tense, your subordinate clause has this formula. What is it? Modal plus have plus v3 would have fed. Right. So this rule I have given you in fill ups also. Nevertheless, I reiterate it. So had prepared and would have fed fixed formula by the way is called third conditional bolte hai. those of you who've taken classes from me you very well know we've done this in class okay okay ups was in a good mood i guess here some low hanging fruit look at this question where there is a will so we know the answer is there is a way in hindi you say jaha chaha waha what? Ra. 
okay 47 it is getting dark answer is delta can i turn on the lights so a simple translation here could be andhera ho raha hai kya main lights jala sakta hu simple answer and you really don't need such complex sentence structures i should be turning may i be turning why do you want a continuous tense over here you simply asking a question you want an imperative it's a request so you just go for modal and v1 can i turn yeah because it's a request there okay moving on once i met a traveler question 48 the correct answer is alpha who said he had been to an ancient place why not bravo because bravo is dissociated there is no connection it's just disjointed koi link hi nahi hai yahan pe right so you need this kind of a link na ek aise aadmi se mila jo jisne aisa kaha tha ki wo ek ancient place pe gaya tha okay question 49 man is the greatest truth of all yeah the answer is bravo there is nothing beyond him uh, and not uh, there is nothing truth about it this is just if you notice ye contradict kar raha hai jo sentence keh raha hai insaan sabse bada sach hai aur usse beyond kuch hai nahi so if you understand uh, the sentiment of the sentence you know this is the answer okay uh, 49 just one remaining Question 50, if your life is circumscribed by habits alone, circumscribed means usi ke ird gird gol gol ghoom rahi hai, aap apni aadaton se majboor ho, right, so then what are you, this is the answer, bravo, you are merely, merely an imitative machine, merely means keval, sirf, aap sirf ek imitative machine ho, jo aadate aap se karati hai, wo aap karte ho, so therefore that is the answer all right 50 questions done almost 50 percent of the paper complete all right next set of questions are ordering of words in a sentence yeah uh, as far as the explanation goes i will be giving you specific mandatory pairs as taught to you all in class all right question 51 The answer is alpha q p s r okay now why q p rubidium is used where in the filaments used in the filaments so that's how the mandatory pair here is q and p ye pair hai ye saath mein hi aayenge ye juda ho hi nahi sakte okay then uh, then what uh, it's used in the filaments of filaments of what in these cells so that's how even p and s go together filaments of these photoelectric cells and these cells come kya karte hai? convert light energy so anyways if you notice all fragments are connected there is a logical progression of ideas there okay, okay question 52 okay, we can take all three on the screen and mark the answers quickly 52 delta 53 charlie 54 delta let me explain now why 52 delta this is the final word of an educational philosopher who has left his mark so this philosopher and who goes together philosopher who that's combining and left his mark do we not say is dunya pe chaap chhod ke jana hai so mark where nishan kaha choda world pe so that's the connection mark on the world so that's how q and s is a pair uh, r and q is a pair all right even if you make one pair you stand a chance of your answer being absolutely right okay then um, on a world in which okay in which he urged so many to get involved and then the action there right so this is the subject and there the action what did he do he urged question 53 rqsp irony is a figure of speech this is your this is your subject irony so if you notice 
this kind of a structure do we not follow for ordering subject verb and object so ir irony is a figure of speech and what do you do in this figure of speech you say one thing and you mean another kehte kuch ho matlab kuch aur hota hai hindi mein vidambana right so a uh, figure of speech and what where you say one thing while you mean the opposite question 54 rqsp ha ah, the discovery of petroleum in the middle east so that that is how r and q go together petroleum middle east that's the connection and uh, petroleum in the middle east has changed now changed what so even q and s go together change the lifestyle change the lifestyle of the people now which people people across the world so that's how even s and p even s and p are perfectly connected okay question 55 the answer is alpha q p s r so the camel uses fat as a source of energy q and p connected fat as a source of energy and uh, during its long journey journey where so s has the word journey r has desert so journey in the desert okay question 56 56 and 57 the answers are bravo 56 bravo 57 chali the pairs are the beginning and the concluding lines must support the main part q and p is a pair and uh, main part and then there is a conjunction in the center or events which events described in the story that's how s and r are also connected do not confuse with the alpha option by the way um truth be told this is just an instruction um teachers give in story writing ye story writing ke format ka instruction hai right ye line bas wahan se utha di gayi hai okay question 57 ah uh, now a beautiful riverine ecosystem is is being damaged to ye connection hai ecosystem damage ho raha hai q and p ka connection and then uh, kis se damage ho raha hai and that's how p and r are connected yahan damage damage by industrial pollution and uh, the pollution kahan ja raha hai ye pollution channeled into rivers okay Fifty-eight and fifty-nine. Fifty-eight. The answer is Bravo. Fifty-nine. The answer is Alpha. Okay. Uh, the television screen. Question fifty-eight. The television screen is challenging whom? Challenging the film industry. So S and P is a pair. and due to kyun challenge kar raha hai because of its availability and nearness to the viewers so that's how r and q also connect in a way p and r are also connect r is the reason for p okay 59 um we begin with q researchers say that now what do they say that they built an artificial intelligence system so that's how q and p is connected ye kaha unhone the built in a system uh, artificial intelligence system that like humans ab ye that yahan kya hai yahi system so that's how p or s connected him in class i kept saying relative pronouns pe dhyan do ye that kya hai yahi system right okay so moving on all right question 60 the correct answer is bravo r p s q we read out it is not that he is a fool aisa nahi hai ki wo bewakoof hai it is that the sach bataya it is that uh, he does not think others think intelligently isko aisa lagta hai ki dusre intelligent nahi hai so if you somehow just try to get the indian sentiment or the hindi sentiment behind it you'll crack the answer 
all right next as you can see comprehension passages three comprehension passages were given two questions are already on the board 61 and 62 question 61 the answer is alpha to contribute in ensuring security and 62 the answer is delta principles of peaceful coexistence already the paper which i have with me this student has done a fairly good job he's done some underlinings over here uh, here it is there no underlines its ambitions signing the security and uh, to play a security role in the pacific so answer is underlined actually then the pack symbolizes china's doctrine doctrine by the way means principle that also is there in the passage somewhere below it's there when we scroll up i'll show you okay which one of the following is implied by beijing would not seek to become a global hegemon the answer is uh, yeah continuing with question 63 the correct answer is charlie beijing is not aspiring to have control over the world again here it it is boiling down to your vocabulary you ought to know the meaning of the word hegemony there is a word hegemony and this exactly what is written in charlie is the meaning of the word hegemony aspiring to have control all over the world isko hegemony bolte hain synonyms are supremacy ascendancy dominance right so again passage mein aisa likha na beijing is not seeking wo aisa nahi karna chahta so therefore not aspiring otherwise we know the meaning of the word hegemon okay question 64 what does square with that idea mean idiom again let's try to see what upsc has done this time idioms here and there so if you square with somebody's idea all you do is agree with the idea but here in the passage if you notice it's written certainly does not square with that idea does not square so which is why it is not in agreement with the idea bravo is the answer okay and uh, i think if i the do, uh, doctrine thing i wanted to show you earlier no so doctrine here it is peaceful and doctrine so the peaceful principles yeah so this one principles of peaceful coexistence 62 delta so i've just located that for you over here okay 64 questions done what does strategic foothold imply in the passage the correct answer is uh, planned access so the meaning of strategic actually is uh, tactical and it is done purposefully and deliberately and intentionally you are establishing a position somewhere right so therefore the word plan goes well with uh, strategizing hmm? okay so otherwise i must say uh, i must be honest with you all options were uh, really tricky and confusing at least as far as the context of the passage goes all options really suitable with the passage but you should just know the meaning of the word strategizing is nothing but planning okay uh, moving on 65 66 second passage now the answer to this question is Charlie, what is international carbon trading system the exchange of carbon credits between nation very much there in the passage uh, question 67 67 and 68 if I may just take it collectively 67 the answer is alpha the revenue may not be shared and 68 
alpha again forests reduce uh, carbon emissions and uh, here it is if you notice towards the end a third issue is whether a share of the revenue from such bilateral trading agreement will go towards the uh, UN adaptation fund so which is why 67 alpha is the answer and carbon sink um, little bit of your geography knowledge will come in handy over here you know it's just reduces the carbon emission it's like a dump it's like a dump so which is why it is contributing as a carbon sink okay then uh, question 69 69 and 70 69 the answer is alpha developed countries and companies would not be adhering to the credit system 70 the answer is charlie that was an easy one we all know the word protocol most of the times words uh, idioms synonyms which are asked in papers uh, the english uh, is uh, you know just from around you yeah so we know these words protocol is formal ways of doing something okay 70 questions done inflation again a passage on inflation inflation has really been a trending topic on the news channels for last six months a global uh, recession and in is predicted no okay okay Question number 71 and okay 3, 3 I can mark for you then 71 bravo components such as food and fuel, 72 alpha, do not get confused with multiple markings the correct answers are only the ones which I am encircling or tick marking in the red pen, 73 alpha, okay. Question 71, what are the volatile components of inflation? Here it is, again the student has done a fairly good job, excluding the volatile components of food and fuel, given in the passage, spoon feeding answer. 72, why are prices unlikely to abate, abate means decrease, hona, come hona. abate in the short term because it's given here, no? considering the inflation in the pipeline so it is in the pipeline or dam barne hi wale hain so kam to hone wale nahi hai so which is why it's unlikely to abate yeah, little uh, tough question there if you don't know the meaning of abate okay then uh, question 73 uh, pass through in what context are the words pass through used in the passage the answer is the service sector will increase the prices as demand picks up here it is however as demand firms up so if your scanning is accurate if you scan accurately aap yahan keywords dekho na demand picks up demand firms up the pass through is likely to gather traction so usi ke aas paas answer hota hai so the pass through this is how it is used in the passage okay 74 and 75 the answers are 74 delta 75 again delta okay yeah vocab based question nobody would be able to help you if you have not heard of that word quotidian is nothing but day to day your quotidian duties your quotidian responsibilities your quotidian task it just means your day to day task okay then unanchoring they've asked the meaning of the word unanchoring anchor uh, is control pakad so agar koi cheez unanchored hai to wo hold pe nahi hai kisi ne hold not securely fixed right so which is why unanchoring hai so it is out of control okay something different again upsc has done this time just five synonyms not ten because here and there they have given vocab in different forms okay question 
78 the answer is sorry not 78 76 the answer is uh, bravo mm -mm. the answer is bravo advanced messenger the word is harbinger uh, harbinger is nothing but a precursor a signal an indicator ki jo news pehle a jati hai right so it's an indicator signal precursor okay so therefore bravo is the answer 77 vista is nothing but a fancy word for landscape okay 78 lamentable is nothing but delta deplorable lamentable means um, regrettable why regrettable because it's very bad and very bad is just another word for deplorable na? deplorable condition of the slum dwellers so that is how mm, you know it is the answer okay 79 and 80 Question 79, the word endurance means patience, bardash uh, karna, tolerate, is aap kitna endure kar paate ho, patience. Then jaunt again is a fancy word for expedition. Trip jaise, trip hai, holiday hai, vacation hai. So this is how it is used. On the news channels, it's a very common word whenever uh, politicians go, um, vacationing abroad here and there so uh, very commonly this word has been seen on the news channels okay next one spotting the errors 10 questions question 81 to 19 so five we can take on the screen five okay question 81 it would be nice to have a good evening Stroll, yeah, the correct answer is alpha part has an error because you do not have a stroll, you take a stroll, <laughs> right? So it's like a word association, it's a collocation. So stroll, by the way, kya hota hai? Leisure walk, aram aram se, maze maze se chalna. So you take a stroll, you don't have a stroll. You can have water, right? So you, you don't have a stroll. Arun likes geography. This one is no error simply because there is a parallel structure working over here. Arun hai, fir verb hai. Aise yaha pe bhi to subject hai, fir verb hai. Fir yaha geography, yaha history. Koi dikkat nahi hai, right? So, therefore it is no error. The, it's a parallel structure. Okay. Then while the solar energy has grabbed the spotlight, wind power too has been made. Okay. It should just be has made. So, bravo part has an error. You omit the bean in the bravo part. You don't need passive voice over here. Yeah. Aapko kehna hai, wind power ne progress kiya hai. Na ki kisi aur ke dwara wo progress hua hai. So, yaha passive voice nahi chahiye, omit the bean. Okay, pride brings a great, see this? Yeah, it will not sound right to your ears also. Do you say a great dealing of vanity or do you say a great deal of vanity? Sir, deal bolna hai, dealing nahi. Okay, persuasion happens only when someone takes a stand from which he has unwilling to. 85 Charlie is the answer. It should be he is unwilling to move. अगर मैं यहाँ से हिलने के लिए तैयार नहीं हूँ तो क्या आप कहोगे? She has unwilling to move or she is unwilling to move? A little bit of grammar over here. Okay, the food consumed is converted on the body. Body के ऊपर या body के अंदर? So therefore, not on. It should be in the body. Okay. Eighty-seven. This testing method requires one to. Oh, this is no error. This testing method requires one to fast overnight. After which, the fasting blood sugar level is measured. No grammar error over there. So no explanation. Yeah. Anyways, you. Um, 
you know that at least one or two out of ten would be no errors. So if you're not able to locate the error, you can just put it on standby and then towards the end you have the confidence of saying, all right, this is no error. Okay, so question 88, what is it? Hmm. Charlie has an error. After 2, you don't use V2 or V3. What do you use? 2 plus V1. So, ye improved nahi hoga na? Ye improve hoga. To improve the glucose control, not to improved. 89 and these fundamental principles I kept reiterating in class. Hmm? English ke fundamentals hote hain. Okay, this allows uh, individual writers to play his strengths. Phrase hai ye ek. It's a phrase and the correct phrase, Charlie part has an error. The correct phrase is to play to your strengths or to one's strengths. So, bas ye two missing tha yahan pe. Yahan. Play two. Therefore, the error. Okay, question 90. As a screenwriter, there are broad, broadly speaking, okay, Charlie part has an error. वो दो बता रहे हैं ना दो तरह के जॉब हैं तो काइंड क्यों लिखा है यहाँ होना चाहिए टू काइंड्स क्योंकि टू है सो इट शुड बी काइंड्स ऑल राइट नाइंटी क्वेश्चन डन Parts of speech is the next one, uh, easy one. If you compare these ones with CDS one 2022 uh, you you realize that this was relatively easy you were lucky I hope you once you match your answer key you get them right uh, okay which is underlined with question 91 answer is alpha it is a relative pronoun there are five relative pronouns who whom whose which and that so which underlined there which a relative pronoun hai. Where there is peace, ye bravo hai, where ek adverb hai, kyunki ye iski jaga bata raha na, it's an adverb of place, okay, iski jaga bata raha, it's verb ki, so it's an adverb of place, okay, question 93, Question 93, the answer is Charlie interjection. Why alas is an interjection? It's an exclamatory word as you notice that kind of a sign is there. No? Hurray, oh alas, oops, wow. So they are all interjections. And alas is an interjection for sorrow. Okay, zero we all know. Ek noun hota hai. Really, no, I should not explain that. It's way too simple to explain. Okay, question 95. Uh, it is, all is an adverb. Reason, thing word, noun hai. Good kya hai? Jo bhi kuch noun ko modify karta hai, wo adjective hota hai. Aur jo bhi kuch adjective ko modify karta hai, wo kya hota hai? Adverb. So, which is why? All is an adverb. Okay, then... Ninety-five done, no? Okay. Question ninety-six. Uh, beautiful. Again, an adjective. Very easy. Uh, even a fifth grader could tell that to you. Beautiful boy, beautiful, uh, be sorry, beautiful girl. Uh, these are, um, you don't use beautiful for boys. So, beautiful is an adjective. We all know that because it's qualifying the noun one. Okay. Then, honesty obviously is an uncountable noun. Um, it's an abstract noun, right? So, it is therefore uncountable. And... Um, there is many a slip between the cup and the lip. The word between is a preposition, place word, position word. It's a position. Because jaga bata rahe na kaha cup or lip ke beech mein. So cup or lip ke beech mein. So it is a preposition. Uh, by the way, just for your information, ye to ek 
प्रोवर्ब दे दिया है यूपीएससी ने मुहावरा है ये एक एंड uh, ये बिटवीन को ओल्ड इंग्लिश में ऐसे भी लिखते थे यू कैन गूगल यू रियलाइज ट्विक्सड so there is many a slip twigs between the cup and the lip i'm not going to give you the meaning here because that's not what's asked over here okay a why waste time you can check it out for yourself it's an interesting one please do check out the meaning okay ravi and megha okay the but is underlined but again kindergarten questions they have asked this time इन इन क्लास ऑल्सो आई यूज टू आस्क वॉट आर सम किंडर गार्डन कंजांक्शन जो बच्चों को भी पता है कंजांक्शन हाँ बट एंड यू नो दीज आर कंजांक्शन नाउ ही इज द मोस्ट शॉर्ट आफ्टर टीचर नाउ द ओवर हियर इज अ डिटरमाइनर अर्लियर ऑल्सो आई डिड एक्सप्लेन प्रपोजिशन और डिटरमाइनर क्वेश्चन में ये आर्टिकल्स डिटरमाइनर्स में आते हैं ए एंड द इवन क्वान्टिफायर्स वर्ड्स लाइक फ्यू लिटिल वो भी डिटरमाइनर्स होते हैं सो नाउ therefore the is a determiner 100 questions done question 101 the correct answer is chali s q r p some explanation two mandatory pairs s1 and s is a pair and q and r is a pair रीजन एस वन टॉक्स अबाउट सम एप्लीकेशन उनको अप्लाई करना चाहिए एंड एस ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट एप्लीकेशन अप्लाई एप्लीकेशन तो ये कनेक्शन है एस वन और एस का इसीलिए ये आंसर है एंड देन क्यू एन आर क्यू टॉक्स अबाउट ही मे एक्सेप्ट द सरेंडर एक्सेप्ट एंड एस सिक्स में क्या है नॉट एस सिक्स आर क्यू एन एक्सेप्टेंस the word accept accept acceptance apply application so that's the connection okay one or two one or two it is alpha q p r s pairs again s1 q s n s6 these are the pairs Why S1 Q S1 does talk about a ranking second rank and Q says it's taken the leap, yeah, from the sixth overall position. And S talks about um, the rank states UTs. Even S6 talks about that, no. And moreover, S has the word the report. एम्स टू इवेलुएट और ये जो एस सिक्स में लिखा है लीड्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ये रिपोर्ट ही तो है एक राइट सो रिपोर्ट रिपोर्ट एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस इज द कनेक्शन स्टेट्स यू टीज ऑल राइट क्वेश्चन वन ओ थ्री वन ओ थ्री द करेक्ट आंसर इज चाली क्यू एस पी आर एस वन से इज विंड पावर इज एन इन एग्जॉस्टेबल सोर्स और ये इसको कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट करता है देफो एस वन और क्यू का पेयर बनता है हालांकि इन एग्जॉस्टेबल है पर फिर ये है ऑल दो द कॉस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन अदर फैक्टर्स एंड द फैक्टर्स आर मैंशन सो दिस वर्ड ऑल दो इज अ सुपर कनेक्शन टू दैट एस वन सो साइन पोस्टिंग वर्ड्स हैं बेसिकली यहाँ पे ओके देन यू ऑल्सो हैव ओके आर और एस सिक्स का कनेक्शन है आर हैज द वर्ड यूरोप एंड एस सिक्स इज ऑल ऑफ यूरोप हाँ डेनमार्क जर्मनी वाट नीदरलैंड स्पेन दैट्स द कनेक्शन दे यूरोप यूरोप ओके क्वेश्चन वन ऑफ फोर वन ओ फोर डेल्टा इज द आंसर एस्पिरेशन एस वन एन आर बोथ आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एस्पिरेशन सोसाइटल एस्पिरेशन एंड देन एज दीज एस्पिरेशन सो दैट्स द कनेक्शन ओके 
again S and S6 as I keep telling you these are the most concrete pairs uh, S and S6 is connected S says it was to overcome the finiteness of existence all earthly temptations and desires mm, so kahi na kahi ye ek bahut impractical sa goal hai ki hum in sab cheezon se ubhar sake aur isse upar ja sake so bahut hi ek higher level ka spiritual goal hai ye to and therefore uh, yahan pe you know but for a modern mind this preoccupation with supreme spiritual knowledge may not hold such fascination right so if you are a modern thinking person you might not be able to achieve this kind of a target in your okay okay question 105 alpha p r q s he resisted colonial education not just because it came from the west and so this word now essentially is going uh, with it with this one not just So ना उसके लिए और क्यों किया फिर क्यों ही डिसलाइक करता था सो दैट इज हाउ यू नो दिस एस वन एंड पी इज गोइंग टूगेदर एक्चुअल कारण यहाँ बताया है और ना कि ये नॉट जस्ट सो दिस नॉट जस्ट और असेंशली गोइंग टूगेदर सो असेंशली क्यों डिसलाइक करता था उसकी इनहेरेंट एलिटिज्म एज इन इट इज जस्ट केटरिंग द रिच पीपल ओके सो एस वन एंड पी एंड देन देर इज वन मोर कनेक्शन then he all are connected then then all are connected in sequence then r says moreover with his uh, profound pedagogic sensitivity he could see the damaging effect of colonial education and then this example is of r jo q mein example likha hai wo r ka hai ki kya damaging effect ye damaging effect you know english this that it was difficult for him to accept english and then then he also so first he talks about english and then he also felt second information about english the word also will help you ki acha s to q ke baad hi aayega so that's how you know q and s is connected q talks about english and then also english q and s okay hmm One o six Bravo is the answer. R P S Q. Samples, samples of English usage, and R also has samples of the language. So that's how S one and R is the connection. And what else? rest actually uh, the meaning 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 things all uh, everywhere wherever they have talked about meaning that is going in logical progression okay should be enough question 107 107 the answer is chali s q r p so let's see what is the connection ha ah, s1 says uh, historians have often explained uh, religious reform reason bataya hai ki western impact ki wajah se so that's how s1 or s ka connection kya ho raha hai s mein likha others have recognized yahan historians and yahan others historians ne woh wajah batayi hai western influence दूसरों ने कुछ और वजह बताई है सो दैट्स हाउ एस वन एन एस एंड वी कैन रूल आउट डेल्टा सो वाई एस एस एन क्यू Q connects with S. The equation of Westernization and modernization has given its way. So Q is connecting with the content written in S. So Q and S is a pair. Therefore, delta is not the answer. Okay, one o eight. One o eight. The answer is alpha. Why alpha? 
SQRP. The country has experienced unprecedented economic development ah, since the adoption of the new economic policy and this S also has that thing no new economic policy is S. Huh? The country adopted the policy, adopted the policy, adoption of the policy. So that's the connection of S1 and S and uh, there's one more connection. Hmm, then the benefits, so if I read out as, okay, adopted the policy and then in the immediate aftermath, see, pehle adopt kiya policy ko and then fir uske baad hua kya. In the immediate aftermath of the policy, there was an apprehension, loho ke man mein dar tha and then uh, it talks about, fir kuch saalo mein kuch benefits dikhne lage, beneficial impact of the announced policy. And then kya faide dikhe, that is very much there in P. Faide yaha shuru hua, P mein batana ya, so the greatest beneficiary of the policy. So that's how it's progressing, logical progression hai. Again, succession of events hai yaha pe, pehle policy uh, adopt hui, uh, fir loon ke man mein dar tha, fir then faide, this that, beneficiaries, okay. One oh nine. Bravo is the answer. RPQS. The Indian cooperative uh, movement is probably one of the largest. Hmm? Largest. So this S one connecting with R. Why? Because R says it is termed as the economic miracle. So what is this it? This one the Indian cooperative movement. So S1 and R is connected this way and uh, S talks about some phases if you notice over here. Ever since the officially sponsored act, the movement has passed through a number of phases and look at this. Cooperatives have been organized in areas such as this is this really goes well. So S and S6 connecting phases and areas, a good connect there. Alright, last one. Oof. Okay, question 110, degenerative and this one, the answer is, the answer is alpha. Degenerative and man-made diseases, do not confuse bra uh, bravo, I can rule that out for you. You know why? Because here it says degenerative diseases mark epidemiological transition. Hmm? So here, yeah, it says, S says, Omron's transition theory huh, portrayed this, this, this. And then it says, uh, he argued that. So who is this he? So this is going, S and R go together. Moreover, why not Bravo? Why not P? Because this P says, scholars reiterate. Reiterate ka matlab hota hai, dohrana us baat ko. To jab pehli baar bolenge, tabhi to dohrayenge. So you cannot use this P right away after S1, right? So you have to talk about this, um, that the pattern thing, no? Portrait of the changing pattern of diseases. Pehle is theory mein ye baat hui hai ki changing pattern. Or then other scholars, iske alawa bhi to aur scholars the. To other scholars reiterate that, to yehi baat repeat kari unhone, pattern of diseases. So that's how ye reiterate ki wajay se, you know, you should know that ye P to S ke baad mein hi aayega. So that's how alpha is the answer. And not bravo, you don't reiterate in the beginning. Alright, last one. Word meanings as you can see. These words have been used in some sentences and we just have to choose the appropriate usage. Okay, uh, question 111. The word is alibi. It has been appropriately used in alpha. The accused was acquitted because he provided an alibi. Alibi means that, that evidence which proves that while the crime was going on, you were not there on the crime scene. 
so yes question number 111 alibi the correct answer is alpha the accused was acquitted because he provided an alibi now alibi means aapka ek dawa hai aap ek saboot de rahe ho that jab crime hua aap wahan pe nahi the that is alibi aur kyunki aapne aisa saboot diya tabhi to aap acquit ho gaye free from blame or charge right so therefore alpha is the answer so basically you should know the meaning of alibi okay 112 continuously easy question the water was flowing from the leaking tap continuously nothing much to explain over there 113 hey you remember elicit i did tell you we had that evoke invoke so elicit kya hota hai uh, to draw forth hmm? to bring to mind hmm? there you what do you elicit generally you elicit responses i did tell you so if you notice यहाँ पे एक ही ऐसा ऑप्शन है जहाँ रिस्पॉन्स आ रहा है सो इसीलिए दिस वन इज द आंसर चाली इज द आंसर द डिमांड फॉर फर्दर इंफॉर्मेशन डिड नॉट एलिसिट अ रिस्पॉन्स मतलब रिस्पॉन्स ड्रॉ फोर्थ नहीं किया ओके एंड द अदर्स आर टोटली रॉन्ग यू डोंट एलिसिट ऑपरेशन यू डोंट एलिसिट टाइज यू डोंट एलिसिट रीजन ये वर्ड एसोसिएशन ही गलत हैं so which is why you should study with word association kya elicit kiya jata hai response hi elicit kiya jata hai okay then uh, climactic yeah i can give you a wonderful explanation do not confuse this word climactic with obviously what which word you know what i'm going to write climactic right to bas ek c ka fark hai ye wale There is a difference in meaning. ये climatic, all of you know, climate से लेना देना होगा So, पर ये climate से लेना देना है नहीं So, why don't you rule out those options? जहाँ जहाँ climate, weather ये गलत है environment ये गलत होगा और क्या है environmental disaster गलत So, that's how you rule out alpha, you rule out bravo, you rule out delta. Answer क्या है चाली right? So, the climactic outcomes, ultimately climactic का मतलब क्या है This word is derived from the word climax. Climax is final, जैसे peak, शिखर चोटी summit. ये वो सब है right? So the climactic has to do with. तभी तो outcome के साथ सबसे suitable है Final outcomes. Hmm? Okay. All right. Hey, I've done this with most of you in class. Or one of the batches, at least I remember. Effect, effect. practice practice okay so the difference is affect ek verb hai so let's see ye verb ki tarah kahan use ho raha hai uh, where is it delta the change circumstances seem to affect her the circumstances affected her kriya ho rahi na verb hai so yahan verb ki tarah use ho raha hai isi liye correct hai the at the other places they have used it like a noun तो नाउन होता तो इफेक्ट लिखा होना चाहिए था ना इफेक्ट एवरी वे सो देव यूज इट रॉन्गली नाउन की तरह यूज किया है और स्पेलिंग गलत दी है ओके देन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वन सिक्स डिस्क्रीट हाई दे इज अम फोन पे आई गिव यू हेयर एंड वॉट्स दैट पे डिस्क्रीट वर्सेज ये वाला डिस्क्रीट सो दिस डिस्क्रीट द वन इन योर पेपर मीन्स डिस्टिंक्ट अलग बिल्कुल सेपरेट डिस्टिंक्ट सो दे फोर द करेक्ट आंसर इज चाली डिस्क्रीट सीरीज बिल्कुल डिस्टिंक्ट और दो सेपरेट सीरीज अब नाउ दिस वर्ड डिस्क्रीट एक्चुअली मीन्स केयरफुल so as to not attract attention matlab agar if i say let's keep this talk discreet it means dheere se baat karte hain taki bahar awaaz na jaye confidential rahe right so discreet wo hota hai so in all of these ye discreet inquiries discreet yahan ye wali spelling likhi honi chahiye thi e e t tab correct hota right so therefore these are not the answers okay 
it's this one is easy question 117 you know what is this it's i'm assuming all of you know i believe you yes it is so it's it's an apostrophe over here so this it is equal to it is so therefore the answer is charlie it's imperative means it is imperative uh, it is important that you study hard for success hey it's this side 118 huh. the correct answer of 118 is charlie amidst all the confusion see you don't use amidst with people yeah it's uh, used with uncountable nouns not with countable nouns or common nouns yahan them hai yahan bhi ek uh, ek uh, person hai amits you moreover yahan to likha amits the mind mind ek hota hai amits ke liye kuch ek abstract cheez chahiye hoti hai moreover uncountable right so uh, therefore amits the confusion it's a very common word association also amits all the confusion sare confusion ke beech mein jaise okay then uh, 119 essentially the answer is uh, chali this is essentially a difference between what i've done this in one of the tests in the class when i had taken an adjective and adverb test less versus few so less is used for uncountable nouns and few is used for countable nouns and the sugar is uncountable so less is the answer if you notice ye people states uh, days ye to sab countable hote hain how are you using less in sab ke sath few aana chahiye right so therefore chali okay last one the correct answer is delta why because this practice where there is an s in the spelling is a is a verb and if you remember the fundamental principle two is followed by v1 which is the case over here to practice to yaha verb ki tarah use ho raha hai and in the other examples is actually used like a noun or galat use kiya hai fir wahan spelling kya honi chahiye thi c practice with the c spelling so therefore uh, these are wrong the correct answer is chali it's a uh, verb versus noun practice versus practice practice jisme s hota hai wo verb hai aur practice jisme c hota hai spelling mein wo noun hai so with that i am very well done i'm very well done with the um, explanation of all 20 questions i hope you got those right and uh, i wish you all the luck good luck thank you